riding out in the grounds of Windsor Castle. Prince Andrew was recently spotted for the first time since announcing he was stepping back from public duties. That followed a public backlash from this interview, in which the prince was asked about his friendship with the American convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein and why he had stayed at Epstein's house after his conviction. I had to go and see him and talk to him. Prince Andrew's lack of compassion for Epstein's victims was shocking, says royal analyst Richard Fitzwilliams. What it showed was someone completely out of touch with his audience and, in my opinion, with reality. He had to step back from his royal duties. He had basically become toxic. One of Epstein's alleged trafficking victims claims she was forced to have sex with the prince once when she was 17. Andrew has repeatedly denied the accusations and said he is willing to give evidence to US investigators. Andrew has caused royal embarrassment in the past, says Fitzwilliams. His marriage to Sarah Ferguson, she proved a disaster as a member of the royal family and has been responsible for numerous embarrassments. From a prince seen as abusing royal privilege to another struggling with the scrutiny it brings. Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle have spoken of their dismay at press intrusion and are taking legal action against several newspapers. They simply have to accept that there is going to be a certain amount of cooperation with the press and global interest in everything they do because of who they are. There was more unwelcome scrutiny when the Duke of Edinburgh, the Queen's husband, was involved in a car accident in January. The royals were drawn into the Brexit crisis in September when the Supreme Court ruled that Prime Minister Boris Johnson had misled the Queen when he asked her to suspend Parliament. This has been a dreadful year for the monarchy, the worst since the 1990s. But there's absolutely no reason to believe that that will go on into next year if the royals get a grip with their advisers and their press officers and also if Harry and Meghan can be persuaded that there is a course that will make them happy as members of the royal family. The Queen will try to draw a line under a difficult year when she gives her televised Christmas Day speech, an event closely watched by many in Britain. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.